Why do keys have teeth? The medieval tech that still guards us today ever looked at your house key and wondered, why does it have teeth? Those little grooves and notches might seem ordinary, but they're part of an invention so clever. It's been protecting humanity for over 4,000 years. Let's unlock the secret. The idea of locking something up isn't new. Ancient Egyptians, around 2000 BCE, invented the first wooden locks. They used large keys shaped like toothbrushes. And yes, even those had primitive teeth. These wooden pegs fit into holes inside the lock. When the key's teeth lifted the right pegs, the door opened. Its simple mechanism became the ancestor of every modern key you own today. Fast forward to ancient Rome. Romans improved the idea by using metal locks. They made keys smaller, stronger, and more portable, so much that wealthy Romans even wore them as jewelry, showing off both their status and their security. But the real revolution came in medieval Europe. Blacksmiths began crafting warded locks, metal locks, with internal barriers or wards. The teeth on the key had to perfectly match these wards, or the key simply wouldn't turn. That's where the phrase, keyed differently, comes from. Each lock was literally a one-of-a-kind puzzle. By the 1800s, British inventor Linus Yale Sr. and later his son, Linus Yale Jura perfected the pin tumbler lock, a direct descendant of the Egyptian design. The familiar jagged teeth of your house key lift tiny pins inside the lock into perfect alignment, allowing it to turn only for the right pattern. Here's the mind-blowing part. Even in our age of smart locks and digital security, that same ancient principle still keeps you safe. Those little metal teeth are mechanical fingerprints, unique, precise, and nearly impossible to guess. So next time you twist your key, remember, it's not just a piece of metal, it's 4,000 years of human ingenuity. A symbol of trust, privacy, and protection. Still guarding your world today.